The sermon was delivered by the first African-American leader of the Episcopal Church in the U.S. Bishop Michael Curry brought some Chicago flavor to the royal wedding. Here's Jonathan Vigliotti. Imagine this tired old world when love is, is the way. When, when In a day marked by way, love, so he gave it soul. The Martin Luther King once said, and I Inspiring, quote, amusing, and at times confusing the, the crowd of British of aristocrats and Hollywood elite with his blend of African-American spirituals. Of love. You just tell the love of Jesus how he died to save us all. Oh, that's the palm in Gilead and folksy it's preaching. Like well, sit down. We got to get you all married. <laughs> you took the royals and the world to church today. I hope so. I really do. I, Bishop well, Michael you know, Curry the, of the American the Episcopal Church is friends with the Bible. Archbishop of Canterbury, who suggested to the royal couple that they include him. Today's sermon was the first time he spoke to them. And when you talk to the couple, if you're talking to their souls, you're going to actually stumble on and talk to some other ones along the way. In this carefully choreographed wedding, regulated from head to toe, hats to tails that is. That's fire. Curry's fiery passion was a breath of fresh air. All testament, he says, to this unique royal couple. <laughs> These two people um, are actually committed to making their love make a difference in the world. They had already preached the sermon. I just gave it language. Ultimately, it was a powerful sermon that wove together several narratives and two countries, all brought together by one wedding. Don? Thank you, Jonathan.